Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how you can score A plus for additional mathematics in SPM. So tip number one for you is to always take notes, whether in tuition or in school. There are certain things that you think you will remember but you won't. You don't need a lot of colours when you're taking notes for AdMath. For me, I only use two colours. I suggest that you do the same. So firstly, you can choose either blue or black colour and that is to take regular notes like everything that the teacher is writing down, you copy down in either blue or black colour. And then the next colour, you can use something bolder like red colour. So whenever the teacher says something important, you just write it down. For example, if the teacher says that a certain question is very important, that it carries a lot of marks, like 20 marks, then you can put a bubble, small bubble next to it and then you can write that 20 marks so that you can take note of that and remember to understand that question properly because it carries a lot of marks. Also, sometimes the teacher will say things like, okay, this question is like a bonus question, you need to really understand it so that you can get the marks then you can write it down also, put a star over there and make sure that you go back and understand it. An example of a question like that is simultaneous equation. My MS teacher has always said that simultaneous equation is like the most easy question and you have to make sure that you get that question right even if you don't know how to answer all the other questions. So it is important that you take note of things like that. Like when the teacher says it, you might be like, okay, I will remember this but after that you forget. So you as you write down the notes, you use a red pen to write down the important things that the teacher says next to it. The second tip that I have for you is to do a lot of past year questions. And I suggest that you start doing this since you're in Form 4. So the way to do this is that you can buy the Analysis per Topic book. The Analysis per Topic past year questions is where they um, separate the past year questions based on the chapters. It goes by topic. So once you finish learning chapter 1, you can start doing all the past year questions for chapter 1. There are two reasons why I recommend that you do past year questions. The first is of course to know how the questions are regularly tested. You will know how it is so that you're familiar with it. The second reason is that if you do all the other activity books, which are not past year questions, you'll see that the questions are much more tougher than the actual SPM questions and you'll get even more intimidated and you'll hate admins even more. So I think that that is really unnecessary because the questions asked are actually much simpler than the ones in the activity books. So just by doing the past years, you can know how it is asked and it is sufficient to get an A plus by just doing the past years. So once you learn a certain topic in school, you go home and then you try out the past year questions and make sure that you can really do them on your own. My third tip when studying at maths is to always do correction and take note of the questions that you couldn't do. Whenever you get a question wrong, always make sure to do correction. Write down the correct answer beside it. Besides doing that correction, I also suggest that you copy the question which you got wrongly with the correct solution onto a separate piece of paper and then you file that paper together with the notes that you took from your tuition or from school. This way when you are revising your notes, like when you are approaching a certain exam, you will also see the questions that you have got wrongly together with the solutions. So you can just retry all that questions and make sure that whatever questions you have gotten wrongly before that, you can do it now. The fourth tip that I have for you is somewhat related to the three tips that I've given you before and it is to establish a filing system for additional mathematics. You can buy a file that is like thick enough like this, this is pretty thick, to contain all your notes or you can buy any regular file. Just make sure that it has enough space to contain all your notes from Form 4, Chapter 1 to the last chapter and then from Form 5, Chapter 1 to the last chapter so that your notes are always in one place and take good care of the notes so that when exams are approaching, you can revise. Of course, along with the notes, you can file in all the questions that you couldn't get right before so that it makes it easier for you to revise. The fifth tip that I have for you is to prepare an exam cheat sheet for AdMath. 
An exam cheat sheet for MAT is where you compile everything that is super important and that is not provided in the exam onto a piece of A4 paper and you pretend that you can take that A4 paper into the exam hall. By doing so, you will pick out only the most important information and you will write it down onto the cheat sheet. So what you do is, one day before the exam, you just revise the cheat sheet because it's like the most important things are written there and everything you know is there. So you can just revise based on that. I know you have the notes that you have taken from class, but if you are like one day away from the exam, then having to read all those notes will just make you feel super anxious and feel like you're not prepared. So instead of doing that, you can read the cheat sheet that you have written, just one A4 paper with all the most important things that you need to know. The sixth tip that I have for you is to understand each and every chapter. In additional mathematics for SPM, there are only two chapters that you don't need to know, which are linear programming and motion along a straight line. Up to this day, I still don't know a single thing about motion along a straight line or about linear programming because I chose to answer solution of triangles in the last part in the exam. These are the only two chapters in MATS that you can skip completely. Like if you choose to do solution of triangles, then make sure that you do a lot of practice and that you can answer solution of triangles well. So apart from the two chapters that I've mentioned, you need to understand every single chapter in MATS. You cannot be like, oh, different fiction and logarithms are hard. So I can just skip those questions. No, if you want to get A plus in MATS, you cannot be like that. You have to put in the effort to understand each and every single chapter except for the two chapters that I had mentioned before. I know certain chapters may seem really hard in the beginning, but as long as you do enough question and you fully understand it, it's actually pretty simple. And now for the book recommendations for MATS. For me, I think that to score A plus in MATS, the only two books that you really need is both are past years. So the first one is the analysis per topic past year questions and the other one is the actual past year questions which are based on the year. Those are the two books which you really really need in order to score A plus in MAT. But then if you cannot get complete notes of MAT from school or from tuition, then I recommend that you can get this book which is Analysis Additional Mathematics SPM by Pelangi. I think that if you had to get one reference book, then it would be this book because it's quite complete. Like for each chapter, they have the notes and the examples of questions. And then they have basic mastery questions, which are the ones you try out when you start learning that chapter. You try out basic mastery questions. And then as you move on, you can go to clone partial questions. And they have forecast questions as well. And challenge yourself is for the difficult questions. And then they have the answers right here. They don't have the solutions though, but then they have the answers. Yeah, so I think that if you were to get one reference book for MATS, it would be this. But then, as I said before, it is really not necessary to get a reference book for MATS or any other activity books at all. The ones that you need to get are the analysis per topic partial questions and the actual partial questions. Those two are sufficient. If you can get uh, complete notes from your teachers, then you don't need to get the Pelangi book that I suggested. But if you can't, then get that book. So that's all the tips I have for you for this video. I know that many people find it difficult to understand logarithms and differentiation and integration. So if you want me to do a video like teaching you how to do that, then you can like this video or comment down below to let me know. I have thought about doing those videos but I'm not sure if you guys would want to watch it or if, if it would be helpful, I don't know. So just let me know. So if you found that these tips are helpful, then you can give this video a like and you can subscribe down below to get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.